KESA stands for Chemical Safety Assessment and Reporting Tool. It has been developed by the European Chemicals Agency to help companies carry out their chemical safety assessments and prepare their chemical safety reports, as well as to generate exposure scenarios for communication. In this video, we present a general overview of the functionalities supported by KESA. KESA provides a structured workflow for carrying out a standard safety assessment for the different uses of a substance and enables the generation of a high quality chemical safety report, also known as a CSR. The workflow begins by importing a Euclid file into KESA that contains the properties of the substance and the outcome of the hazard assessment. Next, in KESA, the uses are described and assessed. The output of the workflow is the generation of the CSR and the exposure scenarios for the extended safety data sheet. The use description can also be exported to Euclid section 3.5 and an extract of the CSR can be exported to Euclid section 3.7. KESA is a tool that uses a web browser to display the information. The look and feel of the application may vary depending on the browser. In this video we use Microsoft Internet Explorer. Although the interface runs in a browser, the database is stored on your computer such that no information is available on the internet. KESA can be downloaded from the KESA website as either a standalone application that can be installed on a single computer or as a distributed version that enables the database to be shared among several persons working on the same chemical safety assessment. The installation manual gives a full description of how to launch the application and to manage the user settings. KESA is divided into seven major groups of functionalities called boxes. The boxes are Box 1, Substance Management Box 2, Use Management Box 3, Exposure Estimation Management Box 4, Exposure Scenario Building and CSR Generation Box 5, Exposure Scenario for Communication Generation for Extended Safety Data Sheet Box 6 Library Management Box 7 User Management The following functionalities are available in the different boxes of KESA. In Box 1, assessors can search and select the substance for which they want to carry out the CSA. If the substance is not yet included in the KESA database, a substance dataset can be imported from Euclid 5.4 or a later version. Please note that the set of information used in KESA can be seen in Euclid by using the dossier template for KESA input information. Once the substance has been selected, users can check the information that relates to substance identity, physico-chemical and fate properties, physico-chemical hazards, environmental hazards, human health hazards, the required scope of exposure assessment and the type of risk characterization. In box 2, assessors can describe all the uses of the substance in a structured way to ensure consistency between use descriptions and exposure assessments. To fulfill this purpose, they can use KESA's lifecycle tree structure to report the relevant uses of the substance, the tonnage breakdown for the different uses, and for each use, the contributing scenarios. The functions for building and editing the lifecycle tree are available in the main toolbar or by right-clicking on any item within the toolbar. The most relevant are the Add function, which allows the assessor to add uses, market sectors or contributing scenarios. The Edit function, through which 
the information of each use, contributing scenario and market sector of the life cycle tree can be edited. Keza has functions for import and export. They can be used to import and export the full life cycle tree or parts of it, together with the exposure assessment that has been performed. The uses, together with their assessments, are the so-called CSA building blocks. It is also possible, by clicking the Consistency Check Toolbar button, to verify whether the building of the life cycle tree respects a set of recommended rules that relate to tonnage, the ordering of uses, and labels. The uses, described in Keza, can then be automatically transferred to Euclid Section 3.5 using the Euclid Report Generator plugin. Particular attention should be paid to the naming of the different uses and contributing scenarios. In box 3, it is possible to select the appropriate exposure estimation method and to carry out one or more quantitative exposure estimations for each contributing scenario. Whether exposure assessment is required for environmental compartments and the route and types of effects that relate to human health is determined when importing the hazard conclusions from Euclid in box 1. To demonstrate that the expected exposure is lower than the DNELs and PNEX, depending on the properties and use of the substance, it may be sufficient to apply only the plugged in exposure estimation tools, which are e-uses for the environment, ECTOC TRA for workers, and ECTOC TRA for consumers. However, exposure levels can also be reported as measured data, or by estimation using other external exposure estimation tools. Box 4 supports the creation of final exposure scenarios by consolidating the assessments carried out in Box 3 for each contributing scenario. At this stage, hazards without DNELs or PNEX are also taken into account and appropriate conditions of use can be added if needed to ensure that the risks are controlled for these hazards. It is then possible to complete the risk characterization as appropriate and eventually to generate the CSR in rich text format. To transfer relevant information to Euclid sections 3.5 and 3.7, an export file can also be generated. In box 5, it is possible to generate exposure scenarios in rich text format from the chemical safety assessment data for the extended safety data sheet. The exposure scenario is based on pre-selected standard phrases that are available in the library in box 6. The phrases are assigned to the conditions of use in the exposure scenario for the CSR. In KESA, the conditions of use are called determinants. Here, it is also possible to modify the default selection of standard phrases. Box 6 contains Keza's library. The library enables the creation, storage, import and export of objects that the assessor may need whilst carrying out a chemical safety assessment. In Keza, determinant types, specific environmental release categories, that's SPERCs, and specific consumers exposure determinants, that's SKEDs, are meant to be used across various assessments. In addition, it is also possible to import catalogues of standard phrases such as the ESCOM phrase catalogue developed by industry under CEFIC management and available in KESA format. Finally, please note the help text light bulb throughout the application. If clicked, it points the user directly to the relevant place 
of the user manual where further information on the related functionality can be quickly retrieved. This was an overview of Kesa and its structure. You can find further information on the tool in the support page of the Kesa website.